So today uh, we are talking about um, a survey paper and uh, this is the survey paper, a pre-train, prompt and predict. It's a system systematic survey of prompting methods in NLP. So this is the link. You can go to this link and you're going to uh, land up on this paper. This is a long paper. <clears throat> it's like 46 pages. And this is the uh, content of the paper. Um, so I have taken like the main points and it is a brief uh, brief presentation about the survey paper uh, so let's start so these are the key points which the paper discusses about uh, for example um, sorry not example like the first point is where does prompting fit in nlp paradigms uh, some concepts and definition about uh, in in prompting uh, this is one of the important um, point section uh, which is about design considerations uh, for prompting <clears throat> application challenges and what's the trend right now so uh, where does prompting uh, fit in NLP paradigm so uh, earlier we had no neural networks so the features were created um, uh, manually and then there was a phase where we have neural networks and the features were learned automatically. Uh, then, so in this case, we trained the model from scratch. Then there was a paradigm where we had pre-trained models and we just fine-tuned it for specific task. Uh, the current uh, paradigm, um, which is going on right now, so it's about having pre-trained model and have some prompting mechanism uh, to use for predictions. So the way they define is this uh, pre-trained prompt and predict is a paradigm. Instead of adapting pre-trained language models to downstream tasks via objective engineering, uh, downstream tasks are reformulated to look more like those solved during the original LM training with the help of textual prompt, okay? So uh, for example, is a sentence and uh, it can be formulated as some English and then French. So these are the prompts which are added uh, additionally, okay? Uh, by selecting the appropriate prompts, the model behavior can be manipulated so that the pre-trained language model itself can be used to predict the desired output. So even we are not fine tuning any uh, something, we want that the pre-trained model should predict, should behave uh, in a certain way and we can um, manipulate that using these prompts, which is interesting. So uh, some, uh, some concepts and definition. Uh, prompt engineering, how do they define, is finding the most appropriate prompt to allow a language model to solve the task at hand. And uh, there, is, there is input, there is output. Um, then there is a prompting function what is prompting function also oh, for example there is this x is input y is output the prompting function is if you put some x in that function it's going to give you output okay so uh so a, this capital x is the input uh overall it was this is a prompt so this is a kind of function if you put x you're gonna get this as output so these are the placeholders like x is the input z is the output so if you place these here um so that's what so it's like a function if you put this input inside you're you're gonna get uh this as output where this is replaced by this input and z is uh replaced by the y okay uh what is a prompt i love this movie overall it was a z uh movie Okay, so there's a placeholder and so the text where uh, X is initiated by input but answer slot is not. Okay, so so what X prime is that X prime is that uh, this X was replaced by the original X. So um, overall it was a Z movie, okay. So we just replace this X with the original X. That's a kind of X prime. So this is a prompt. <clears throat> Sorry. So fill prompt is uh, when we when we fill this space, 
with a prompt it's not necessary that it's the right right uh, answer but it is filled okay so it's a filled prompt answer prompt is it is filled with the right answer and answer is it's kind of a label space it's the options okay so these are some of the um, uh, definitions uh, next are some tasks uh, so these are different types of tasks uh, these are just like prompts for different tasks like how they form so this is one of the prompts uh, for text classification uh, tagging there is some kind of prompt so each each of these tasks will have some kind of prompts so all of these tasks can be converted into uh, a task with prompts okay they can be manipulated using prompts now the most important section of the paper is the design consideration for prompting so what it means is there are five uh, five different uh, ways for example we can choose different models we can choose different prompt engineering what it means is uh, I, i'll go more detail about this uh, answer so we can change the prompts we can change the answer space uh, we can have different uh, prompting strategies uh, which is like an assemble argumentation composition decomposition etc and then we can also have different training strategies um, so i'll discuss more about each of them uh, in detail uh, so first one is so i'll go like uh, one by one I, i'm not going to discuss about model because these are uh, these are just like decoder models um, these are mass language models these are some prefix language models. These are encoder and decoder language models. So I'm going to not, not discuss much about it. So I'll uh, directly go to the prompt engineering. So what it means is, um, what, uh, so prompt engineering is, has two categories, the shape and human efforts. Uh, human efforts are either, you can put human effort either for uh, creating the prompts so that those are called handcrafted prompts or you can on, you can also have automated prompts so these prompts are generated by the model okay so these can be also two types discrete prompts and continuous prompts discrete is also known as hard prompt which are actually actual string texts okay and continuous soft prompts are not text but is described directly in the embedding space of the underlying language model so language model is frozen extra parameters for the prompts are trained on down, downstream task so these will have like prompt tuning prefix tunings you know like anything which is added in the beginning of the uh, input uh, so these are not text but these are uh, kind of continuous embeddings which are trained for a task which are fine-tuned on a task um, okay so that's one of the category uh, shape is um, so it can be like closed prompts or prefix prompts closed prompts are prompts with fill in the blanks so there will be a blank and the model has to predict something uh, there's prefix prompts where the text prefix is added as a prefix uh, and then the other another categorization is static prompts and dynamic prompts static is like same prompt for each input dynamic prompt is like custom prompts for each uh, individual input okay so these are like different categories for uh, prompts so these are the ways we can ex these are different ways you can try and experiment on answer engineering is also another way uh, to work with prompting uh, so earlier we were doing changes in the prompt uh, so now we'll be doing changes in the uh, answer space so again we'll have like shape uh, a shape of an answer characterizes is its granularity which is token it can be a token it can be a span or it can be a sentence uh, human effect is again the same thing handcrafted so handcrafted they can belong to unconstrained space so no strict restriction on the answer space but it can also belong to constrained space so there is restriction uh, automated is again the same thing uh, district uh, discrete answer pro uh, search or continuous answer search um, and there are different ways you can always go in detail about it uh, different prompt learning uh, multiple multi prompt learning so there are majorly four ways uh, so prompt and assembling is you have different 
prompts and you can always combine them to get um, uh, the final prompt and there are different ways to uh, combine them like uniform averaging weighted averaging etc okay and then there is demonstration learning where we have some input and we have like some demonstration to work with they are given to the uh, model and we have a third which is unanswered and is um, answered by the model so in this case it's important that how the samples are selected and also how they are ordered uh, the third is prompt composition so we will have different sub prompts and you're gonna get a, get a combined version of these prompts uh, here it was an assembling so it wasn't like a composition but it was more like averaging of it here it is more to do with composition decomposition is you have a prompt and is converted to sub prompts and is given to the um, model okay so you have different kinds of multi-prompt learning so then um, so different prompts uh, training strategy this is also one of the important um, section so these are there are like five strategies this this is like strategy this is language model parameters either they are tuned or frozen either you are adding additional prompt uh, parameters so in some cases they are in some they are not and whether they are tuned or not okay so promptless fine tuning means it's a regular fine tuning there are no prompts and um, not they're not uh, learned for smaller data sets so this is a simple fine tuning paradigm uh, this one tuning free prompting so what it means is there is no tuning there is no parameter update it's basically in context learning the third is fixed language model so language model is frozen and prompt tuning so here you're they are adding additional prompts and they are tuned but the language model is frozen so language model is frozen but the additional parameters are tuned okay uh, fixed prompt language tune language model tuning so here we are not adding any prompts uh, and the language model is being tuned okay so this is only language model pro uh, parameters updated here only prompt parameters are updated and the last one is prompt plus language model fine tuning what it means is they are having additional parameters and they're tuning everything like they're also tuning language model and also the prompt parameters so both of them are being updated okay so they are different these are the different strategies in uh, to work with prompt so these are the different application uh, domains you can always go back to the paper and look through it um, and these are different challenges which the paper uh, describes like the prompt design was a different problem with the prompt design that most of the tasks are um, application so most of the tasks are classification based there are not much work done in other uh, other uh, application area so you can always go through it um, yeah so these are like for these are the like major points multiple prompt learning selection of pretend models theoretical and empirical analysis of prompting trans transferability of prompts combination of different paradigms calibration of prompting methods okay so these are the major challenges and the trend if you can see that over these last two years the trend has increased for the number of publications and uh, this is this is the uh, distribution across different tasks so you can see that this is text classification so most of the uh, research has been done in text classification task uh, this is like um, this is like templates based in answer so these are the publication which are related to template based so it's a lot of them and this is all again like discrete and continuous so here the continuous uh, prompting wins so this is the overall trend of the research for last two years again this paper is from 2021 so it has been changed uh, I, I I assume that it has increased even a mo even more, so you can assume that to twenty twenty two maybe it's more. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's it. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment, and uh, yeah, thank you.